morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, and welcome to Global Atheist News Roundup, dateline the 29th of July, 2023. This week's headlines. A terrorist blew himself up, demolishing a mosque and the policeman sent to find him. Denmark's Quran burning, Muslim nations condemn the far-right group's action. Pride is a sin, tweeted Councillor King Lowell and got suspended from the Conservative Party. He is taking legal action. A Quebec judge denies the request to suspend the ban on prayer room spaces in public schools. A new religious charity, registered in Northern Ireland, promotes a witch-hunting sermon. Blasphemy backlash could lead to violence in the UK. Faith schools repeatedly refuse to teach about same-sex relationships. The band 1975 cancels its Indonesia and Taiwan shows after the Malaysia LGBT row. Christian hate preacher Duncan Urbanek says gay people deserve to be stoned to death. How Sinead O'Connor changed Ireland. Ukraine moves Christmas Day in a snub to Russia. Police went looking for a terrorist hiding in Ali Mosque in Pakistan. The terrorist blew himself up, demolishing the mosque and the policeman. See this video. <laughs> On Monday, a group called Danish Patriots assembled outside the Iraqi embassy in Copenhagen to burn a Quran. Two anti-Islam protesters stamped on the holy book and set it alight in a tinfoil tray next to an Iraqi flag on the ground. In Baghdad, nearly 1,000 demonstrators tried to reach the Danish embassy to protest that incident. Security forces used tear gas to prevent large crowds from reaching the embassy. Bridges leading to the city's fortified green zone, home to many foreign embassies, were closed. Iraq's foreign ministry said such acts allowed the virus of extremism and hate to pose a real threat to the peaceful coexistence of societies. The latest desecration of the book in the Danish capital also triggered a rally by thousands of protesters in the Yemeni capital, Sana, who voiced anger at both Denmark and Sweden for allowing such acts. Turkey called the incident a despicable attack on the Quran, while the Algerian foreign ministry summoned the Danish ambassador and Swedish charge d'affaires to condemn the acts. Denmark's foreign minister said Denmark condemns today's burning of the Quran carried out by very few individuals. These provocative and shameful acts do not represent the views of the Danish government. We appeal to all to de-escalate. Violence must never be the response. A woman tried to prevent the burning in Denmark. See this video. Okay, fuck. 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 Okay,
A Tory councillor who tweeted during Pride Month that Pride is not a virtue but a sin said he is taking legal action after being suspended from his party. North Northamptonshire councillor King Lowell, a Christian, said, I was appalled by some of the illegal activity I saw online at these events. In relation to the images he had seen at unspecified pride marches, he said, I had real concern for the children witnessing it who will grow up believing this is okay. He said, appearing naked in public was illegal and would not be tolerated in other circumstances. Pride in London has issued a code of conduct for participants that says nudity is not allowed. The Christian Concern Group, which is supporting him, said Mr. Lowell had been cancelled by seven organisations, including being suspended by the Conservative Party pending an investigation. It said he would launch legal action after having his life torn apart for sharing one tweet which gave the Christian and Biblical position on LGBT pride events. Mr Lowell's now deleted tweet said, When did pride become a thing to celebrate? Because of pride, Satan fell as an archangel. Pride is not a virtue, but a sin. Those who have pride should repent of their sins and return to Jesus Christ. He can save you. A Quebec Superior Court Justice has denied a request to suspend the province's ban on prayer room spaces in public schools. The Canadian Civil Liberties Association and the National Council of Canadian Muslims had argued that the ban was causing irreparable harm to Muslim students. Justice Lucas Granelsic disagreed, ruling that the groups did not prove there was an urgent need to stay the province's decree while their cases heard on its merits. Quebec Education Minister Bernard Drainville in April had barred public schools from making space available to students for prayer, citing the province's policy on institutional secularism. Drainville had said that students would still be allowed to pray discreetly and silently. The National Secular Society has expressed concerns about a newly registered Christian charity which promoted a sermon on witch hunting. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry, Belfast, which registered with the Charity Commission for Northern Ireland last month, shared details about a sermon on five kinds of witches or familiar spirits. Pastor Daniel Kolowoli Olukoya, who founded Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries in Nigeria, says people may be unconscious witches and he exorcises them. In his sermon, thought to be held in Nigeria, Olukoya says people can become witches if their parents are witches or by being initiated by witches without their knowledge by sharing food with them. He tells the story of a pastor who was unconsciously initiated because his dad was a wizard and it was attacked by demons. He says, I'm praying for anyone here suffering from unconscious initiation to be set free 
by the power and the blood of Jesus. See the pastor's sermon in this video. There are five kinds of witches. There are five kinds of familiar spirits. There are five kinds of people with marine powers. Number one, witches by decision. They want to become one. Maybe somebody has offended them. And they want to fight back. So they, they go and it's a decision to go and join them. Two. As witches by inheritance. This may be your grandmother, your mother, your father was wizard witches, and they just when they were going, or they are not even going, you, you they, they gave it to you. Oh yeah, 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 they are witches by covenant. They have mistakenly or otherwise formed a covenant with these powers, and these powers feel they belong to them. Four. There are witches by force. This is the person who doesn't want to be part of them. He didn't want to join them. But like an armed robber who will force a person to do things. They force a person to become one. But the people that I feel sorry for most is the fifth group. The blind and unconscious witches. Meaning that you could be sitting down there. And you say, I bind every witchcraft power. But if you are an unconscious witch, a blind witch, I get no fortune. They are going to give you angry fight. Oh, God. To bad you with anger. Oh, yeah. Those blind witches and unconscious witches. They might have been initiated without their knowledge. Maybe they were careless with food and they give them food to eat. Maybe they went to a place they should not go to. So they are unconsciously put inside. They are like a student who has registered in a particular school as a student and has paid school fees but does not attend classes. So their name is in the school register, although they don't attend classes. So, blind and unconscious, which is without marine powers. Their name is inside the register. The register of darkness. Religious backlash to blasphemy could inspire intimidation, violence, and even mass killings in the UK, a new report has warned. The report, published by the Henry Jackson Society, cites recent examples of how extreme anti-blasphemy actions have led to death threats. These include Kettlethorpe High School, where a student scuffed a Quran and Batley Grammar School, where a teacher was forced into hiding after showing pupils cartoons of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. It also draws on the 2016 murder of Assad Shah in Glasgow by an Islamist extremist who sought to defend the honor of Muhammad. Shah was a member of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community which believes that Muhammad was not the final prophet. 
This belief is considered blasphemous by many Muslims, and in Pakistan it is a criminal offence for Ahmadis to refer to themselves as Muslims. The report says a Pakistan-based religious movement known as Katmi Nubuwa, which advocates capital punishment for Ahmadis, has been linked to extreme anti-blasphemy actions in the UK. Blasphemy laws have been repealed in England, Scotland and Wales, but remain on the statute book in Northern Ireland. According to Ofsted reports published this month, three Jewish faith schools in London have failed to meet independent school standards because they do not teach the required content in Relationships and Sex Education, RSE. Leaders at Bayes Tranner Girls School told Ofsted they do not intend to teach pupils about the legal rights and responsibilities regarding equality. Although statutory guidance for the RSE curriculum mandates teaching about sexual orientation and religion and belief, Orthodox Jewish faith schools frequently refuse to teach about protected characteristics due to religious objections to same-sex relationships. Pupils at Bayes Trana are not taught about all the ways that people can be different and how these differences are protected by law. Ofsted said that as a result of the school's approach, pupils were not being prepared for life in modern Britain. This latest inspection at Bayes Trana follows a full inspection in 2022 which rated the school inadequate. The 2022 inspection noted that secondary school age pupils are not taught about the different types of relationships that people may have and the legal rights of those with protected characteristics. Meanwhile, Ofsted found that leaders of Shiraz Devora High School continue to admit, continue to omit any encouragement of respect for other people with particular regard to the protected characteristics of sexual orientation, civil partnership or gender reassignment. The school's leaderships do not explain how they intend to encourage pupils to respect others. Both Bayes Trana and Shiraz Devora, school leaders, told Ofsted inspectors not to speak to pupils about relationships and sex education. They also confirmed their refusal to teach about sexual orientation and other protected characteristics was due to their faith ethos and parents' wishes. British pop rock band The 1975 has cancelled upcoming concerts in Indonesia and Taiwan after its gig in Malaysia was controversially cut short. Lead singer Matty Healy attacked Malaysia's anti-LGBT laws on Friday and kissed bass player Ross MacDonald on stage. The band was swiftly banned from playing in the country. Homosexuality is illegal in Malaysia and punishable by 20 years in prison. It is shunned, but not illegal, in most of Muslim-majority Indonesia, and is banned in Indonesia's conservative Aceh province. The band said it had cancelled its Indonesia and Taiwan gigs due to current circumstances, without elaborating. Taiwan is seen as largely welcoming to the LGBT community. It was the first place in Asia to legalize same-sex marriage. Christian hate preacher Duncan Urbanek says gay people deserve to be stoned to death. See this video. Hey, Leviticus 20.13, if a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. 
You know what their blood should be upon them means? They're dead. They're, they got their blood all upon them because you just rocked them to sleep. Because they just threw a bunch of stones at them until they died, and they're just bleeding all over them. Their blood should be upon them. Why? Because that's a wicked sin in the sight of God. They deserve the death penalty. They should be arrested. The police should arrest them, go to court, pr provide the evidence, and then perform a public execution. And then all the, the nations would look at this nation, and there's no homos? Like, wow, that's a wise nation. <laughs> I mean, the world should just be looking at Uganda right now and be like, man, Uganda, y'all know what's going on. Sinead O'Connor's sad death has cracked open a complex and deeply emotional network in the Irish psyche. Once again, through her, pain about growing up in a place where little th truth-telling occurred is flowing. Speaking out against the Catholic Church at a time when few people did sparked outrage and hostility and risked her career but Ireland is now realising the good she did. O'Connor was a lighthouse for those who felt adrift in Irish society. She offered a new moral compass beyond the lie of societal piety, one that pointed towards an uncharted direction of authenticity. She rejected all notion of Catholic shame. Ukraine has moved its official Christmas Day state holiday from the 7th of January to the 25th of December, the latest move aimed at distancing itself from Russia. President Vladimir Zelensky signed into law a parliamentary bill that aimed to abandon the Russian heritage of imposing Christmas celebrations. In recent years, Kiev has been cutting religious, cultural and other ties with Russia, aligning itself with the West. This process escalated following Russia's full-scale invasion in 2022. Mr Zelensky signed the bill on Friday, two weeks after it had been passed by Ukrainian lawmakers. The legislation also moves another two state holidays. Day of Ukrainian Statehood from the 25th of July to the 15th of July and Defenders Day which commemorates armed forces veterans from the 14th to the 1st of October. Moscow has so far made no public comments on the issue. Stay on this channel to watch Tercia and I interview Susan Jerbik the famous fake claims debunker. We're very pleased to have Susan on the show. And don't forget to watch Views on the News, the show where our opinionated pal give their views on the items I have just reported about. This has been Global Atheist News. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you for watching.